I've got a good memory. You've got a great memory. Why can't I remember my lines? <laughs> Four. October 84. Is that when you started working on it? October the 29th, 1984 was the date of the first contract. Mum will like it. Yeah, of course she will. What do you think, Michelle? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, she'll like it. You look so young. You were. I mean, I was... Uh, I was 16. Tish and Sue had just turned 17. I think Dave was slightly older. I think he was 18. I noticed you weren't asking me. Yeah, and I can't say I blame her. Jill hasn't changed. She still looks 20-something. <laughs> no excuse for Tish's pink jacket, though. I told you about when me, Tish, Sue and Paul Medford got sent home. No. We got the giggles in rehearsals once. So bad, they sent us home on the Friday and said, come back in tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Bob's. What are you doing here? I'll come get me dinner money. Hold on. Let me have a rummage around the house. I'll find it in a minute. Just wait there. I'll be right in a minute, love. <laughs> who's, who's moved me bloody photos around? I can't believe it. It's bloody gone. Anyway, there's a picture on the sideboard somewhere. Um, if you look, I've got an apple in my hand. And if you also look, I've taken the trunk out of it and my feet are like this. <laughs> but it's obviously done the same day. Yeah. All right. Here we are. Thanks, Mum. When you were doing this, how long did you think the show was going to last? I don't think any of us had thought about it. I mean, I mean, first contract, it was six months of a year's option. I, I don't think anyone really thought past that. I'll leave it out. Dan, I'm playing Mark on the machines. That money's meant to play for your dinner. I'm playing with my own money. So are you going to be my girl? Even if I had short change, which I had, you walked away. So? My first episode. Mm. Later. That was only here ten seconds ago. You walked away, which officially classifies it as late. That was April 2004. Mm. And I remember when I was auditioning for this, they first of all got me in for Rosie Miller. And I remember reading the part and thinking, oh, I'm not I'm not right for this. And then they kept asking me back. And I kept saying to my agent, I'm I'm, I'm too young for this part. Why why are they keep getting me back? And then eight auditions later was the screen test. And I remember screen testing oh, yeah. with you, with your head popping round the corner. Mm. I could see you at the corner of my eye. That was when you were doing your little monologue. When I was doing yeah. my monologue and you yeah. were peeking round the corner. And then you waited to walk me back to stage one. Yeah. Well, no, I kind of guess you got the job. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite terrifying, actually, auditioning with you. Why? I'm lovely. Well, you are lovely, but I'd seen you on the telly for a long time and I was kind of, well, was nine auditions down the line, I was quite thinking... I might need. <laughs> I only had one. Yeah, well, you are Adam Woodjet, aren't you? <laughs> My favorite, things were cheaper in the eighties. <laughs> we didn't have screen tests. You just turned up and did it. I beg your pardon. Enjoy yourself, Penny Pincher, and you're tight with your fried onions. Do you know what I remember about that? The smell of fat from the chip van. <laughs> This was Mel and Steve's wedding, which led into Who Shot Phil. Ah. And finally, I get sensible. If you're going to have a go at Phil, get up something big and large to him. <laughs> How long had the feud been going on between you here? Oh, I think it started at birth. <laughs> um, I mean, it didn't help matters when he married Mum. No. Um, then he shoved me head down the bog. Oh, so your head had already been down the bog at Probably. this point? Probably. I, I don't think it had been shoved into a cake or a washing up bowl yet. Well, come on, Ian. That's just the excuse I need. Yeah? Ian, leave it! Come on. Come on. Leave it! Lovely Todd. Why didn't you do something to save me? I told you to stay inside! Hey! Look, look how good he looks there, standing still. No ice skates on. <laughs> I went home battered and bruised that time. Did you? Literally, I'm lying on the floor and I've got my arms, my elbows tucked on the floor like that. You know what Steve's like? He's yeah. so strong. strong. My arm literally just 
buckled. <laughs> and his <laughs> scaffolding pole just gone bang. <laughs> <laughs> just missed. No! Phil! <sighs> Please. Look, you can, you can see there's a bruise on your cheek. <laughs> that were makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, if people just see, sort of like, grumpy Phil Mitchell mm. and they don't see the funny side of him. No. What do you mean you're staring at? Hey! Kind of gone full circle now, cos we, we've gone from him trying to smash me to pieces and shove me head down a bog to sitting on my sofa and giving me a cuddle now. That was brilliant, though. I loved that episode. I loved that scene. Well, me and Letitia Dean were crying. Were in the kitchen, in the kitchen in the just kitchen, listening. listening to it. I didn't even have to watch it. Really beautifully done. Too drunk. I only had a couple. What are you dressed up like? Tomorrow? The Nanorama. Oh, you had such great fun doing Tanya and Jane drunk. Did you do much research? We did lots of research. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm your Venus. Oh, look at the state of mate. I tell you what, that is broken Britain in a nutshell. I mean, what sort of woman? Best line. Like that? They should use him for one of them government drinking campaigns. Pompous Ian. Nothing wrong with Pompous Ian. Stop the car! Stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, baby, I got it! <laughs> yeah, look, I must, yeah, I must have been lying about something, cos you have. You've got, like, a medication in there. You were coming home to look after me, and there I was. Yeah, and you refer to him as pompous, Ian. That was caring, Ian. What the hell do you think you're doing? See, parental Ian. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know so early. Oh, 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 oh. oh, absolutely hilarious. Give that bottle to me. No. Give it to me! Uh, no. I think you're trying to not laugh there, aren't you? Desperately. <laughs> Jane, I am so disappointed in you, I can hardly look at you. I like our entry into sitcom sometimes, don't you? Softly, softly approach, but no, that's not enough for you, is it? From now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy, OK? You're... You're grounded. <laughs> I remember, yes. <laughs> I remember that line. <laughs> you're grounded. <laughs> Don't get my case off my bed and bring it in here, will you? Yes, Grant. Oh, John, I can remember this like yesterday. Here you go, Grant. Thank you, Ian. Apparently, we're sitting in what was her bedroom? Lou's bedroom. Lou's bedroom, yeah. We'll start with you, shall we, Ian? <laughs> I think you're a bit of a fool, if you really want my opinion. This whole scene's about ten minutes long, I think. Cos she just literally goes round each one of us one by one. You've got no direction in your life. You start all this city and guilds business for your catering and then you chuck it all out the window. There it went. My first sort of decent storyline was episodes 15 and 16, which was only about eight weeks in. And the, the Thursday episode ended with Ian pouring his heart out to his gran. Uh, over there in the, the previous version of this house, which was slightly smaller. Yes. Back then, seven pages, one take, bang. I had to cry. First up, first time I had to cry, and I thought, oh, God, I don't know how to do this. And literally, as I came through the kitchen door, and I'm sort of like, I was carrying this tray for her, just suddenly I got this lump in my throat. I thought, oh, hello. Well, hang on. Let's, let's run with this. <laughs> and that was it. At the end of it, we got Julia's theme for the first time ever. Oh, was that the first that one? Was the first one, yeah. Episode 16. Anyway, back to that one, which was episode 360... No, 358A. <laughs> Aye. That was incredible, because we all knew she was going. Which yeah. Was a shame. She, she the original was matriarch, wasn't she? Well, she was, the thing is, she was, she was the linchpin that the programme kind of revolved around. Because anybody had a problem, they went and saw Lou. Right. That's you lot sorted out. And she went off to bed, and that was it, the end of Lou. Oh. I can go now. Fantastic. It's a great old lady. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. Ah, finally decided to do some work, have you? I've never seen this. I hope I'm getting extra pay for doing your share. Who do you think you're talking to? Anything you want to say? <laughs> not really. <laughs> oh. Go on, talk, talk me through that question. <laughs> Look, it, it just puts all my jumpers. In the shade, just... And I was just saying the other day, right, 
Oh, I haven't had to wear many silly costumes, but I've completely forgotten about that one. Hey, I'm the big fish, remember? You are just a tadpole. Big fish? Oh, try it more like. The bit that I loved the most was because Patsy's little prawn legs were all on string. So any time she moved her arm, all the little arms moved. You <laughs> know, giving it all that. <laughs> I just remember, I couldn't... I had to, we had to keep retaking because every time she went, you do, 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 giving it all that, and these arms moved, and I was like, I just kept laughing. Sitting over there giving it all that, it's a good costume for you, isn't it? You know, I knew this would happen. I knew you couldn't be trusted to behave yourself. What? I can't remember why Jane was being so sanctimonious there, really. <laughs> and you call me Paul. I know, I was, but um, obviously me and Beals rubbed off on Jane for a minute there, because uh, I, I can't don't, remember don't, why. Don't you go blaming me. <laughs> Look, look we've, we've seen caring Ian, haven't we? Parental Ian. Mm. Never mind pompous. You, Bianca, are a living, breathing, cautionary tale. You should carry a government health warning. That's <laughs> 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 such good fun, <laughs> Are you getting off on this? I got you wrong, didn't I? I thought you were all sweetness and light, but no, all you wanted was a cheap bunker. No! Three days. Three days in the mud, five days in the rain bars in November. Right, certainly showed me what I was missing with you! Yes, yeah, you like your blokes with their knuckles dragging on the floor. I mean, it was worse for you, cos you just had that wedding dress on, but I had a wetsuit on underneath that, didn't I? Why can't you just let it go? Maybe these things have been getting on so well, we were a team again. And all the time. Your lips went blue, oh. your hands, and you just froze. Humiliating me in front of people I care about, but that's you all over, it isn't it? It would have been better had we had less rain for some mm. of it. But just if you so have less rain, it won't show because you've got to. It's, and it won't show, yeah. It I has know, to be like biblical conditions that, for it to show on screen. I, I just thought as a, as a performance thing, it was just shout, shout, shout because we had no choice. <laughs> I set you up. I pretended to be Grant. I sent you that text saying, meet me in the park, and you. Belfort, you came running, I set you up! So why are you doing this? <laughs> are you stupid? And the other thing, because you've got to lift your head up so the camera can see you, all the rain runs, rain runs, runs into your mouth. Or up your nose. Yeah. Remember, I remember I used, when I got you... syringe, do you remember? They had keep <laughs> syringing all the mud out of my ear. That's right. <laughs> all I wanted... All I wanted was to feel the same in return. The last bit where I was on top of you and you were going, and I was like, I told Grant I loved you, I wanted to be with you. Mm. I remember, I can't remember the, the rain dialogue. running down your nose because that's why you brought your head up. As hard as it was for the, with the suction of the mud like that, <laughs> to get up because otherwise I think you were going to drown. <laughs> why can't you want me like he did? Just the hardest five days I've Never. ever done on anything. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, dude. it's over. Tell me that's never gonna it's happen over. again. It's never gonna happen again. <laughs> Does that make me crazy? Thanks. Well, we've still got the same eye. Nothing to thank me for. Like you said, we just need to get things sorted, that's all. Oh, hello. I, th I think they'd already started their affair then. Jane right. and Grant. Oh, don't look. Don't look. I, don't, <laughs> I feel like I'm betraying you. So what is it, then? Oh, you know exactly what this is. And you know exactly what it could be. I thought you said no touching. I think we got some awards for another Best thing. snog. Best sex scene in a, in a television or a soap well, or something. Call, you can't call it a sex scene. Well, it was. It, well, you didn't see the sex scene, but you saw him clear his desk and throw me on it. <laughs> Well, this wasn't the first, because the first time that... Oh, I think it got... I think, um... You're getting all tongue-tied. No, no, I am a bit. I'm like, oh... Hey! Here. However, our first screen kiss... Oh, we stood about half inch apart yeah, for like God, God knows how long, yeah. And I was thinking, God, I've had a fag. I hope you can't smell it. Disgusting. You stopped smoking. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah, well... You've had enough coffee. You have enough coffee and I have enough You're fags. Right. Between us, we've done yeah, coffee and a fag stank. <laughs> I, you, I can remember um, <laughs> me and Michelle Collins, we knew we had to snog after lunch. So I went to the canteen, I had garlic bread, chicken Kiev, borsan. I had the lot. <laughs> it's evil. Yeah, so did she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did the same thing. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, 
Are you, you're not pretending, mate. You, you, yeah. Well, it wasn't a bad day at the office, let's put it that way, do you know what I mean? <laughs> i got my games kit. All right. All those viewers who've forgotten, that was Peter three heads ago. Two heads ago. Three heads ago? And big girls don't cry. All the kids got different heads. I love doing all that stuff. I tell you, um, I remember, I vividly remember the meeting about this. And Deirdre had called me and said, you've got lots of storyline coming up, he said, but there's you in a room with a gun. And I thought, oh, OK. I knew I shouldn't have taken out that uh, I was like, oh, oh <laughs> right, OK. And he went, but you don't die. No, you, you, you don't die. He said, no, 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 don't worry, you don't die. You just... We, you, you lose your womb <laughs> because we all know how much Jane wants a child and just a, yeah. you know, quite Stuffed dramatic, you, yeah. yeah, quite a dramatic <laughs> thing. <laughs> Are you mad? Are you completely barking mad? It was an accident. I tell you the scene that I loved as well was one half when, when we were in, in the before, hospital when Jane before Jane goes down for yeah. the operation. I yeah. always loved that scene. That was a good one. Really sweet scene, wasn't mm. it? Mm, you could really see. The love that Ian and Jane had. Yeah, that was that was. Just when you thought only because you thought I was going to die. Yeah, not, Ian was actually <laughs> nice. Bill. No, Ian was being nice, Bill, because he actually was making sure. Have you got the insurance paid up? <laughs> <laughs> How's your oh, life insurance? That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trampy Bill. Come on, we're going to go. Don't you catch you, move. Fattest tramp in London. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on, mate, freak her out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only person to live on the streets and put on weight. <laughs> Ian, look what you've done now! Really said a word. Was it a mental breakdown that Ian had? I didn't have any dialogue. It was great. Yeah. That's what happens when Jane's not around, you see. Look at the state of you. So you should have come back and saved her. Yeah, what's wrong? What's happened to it? When I first did all the um, hair and makeup and I was walking along the corridor, both Jamie Balthwick and Charlie Brooks just walked straight past me. And I said, what has happened to him and why is he in this state? Yeah, and I said we're looking after him. Do you know why we ended up with a beanie hat? Why? Because I, I never got the note about don't cut your hair. Oh. I went and got a haircut, so it looked a bit daft. So, we thought, right, that's it. Ah. Beanie hat. Beanie hat. How long will I love you? That was a block and a half, wasn't it? Longer if I can. The whole pub went silent. Very unusual for the Queen, Vic. Yeah. Dad, what is it? What is it? Why can't you just tell me? Dad, what? Don't. To get him in the right frame of mind for this, to get him bumped up, Rebecca kept sending him off for a run around the square. No, just what is it? What is it? <laughs> Lucy! Was it Tish calls you? Tiny Tears? Yeah. Yeah. Little button on the back of me neck. Yeah, like, clink. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, you just looked. I've got a photo on my phone. Don't see. There it is. <gasps> That's how I remember you looking, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Don't say it. Please don't say it. <laughs> She's gone! Sorry, <laughs> I thought Ben was great through all this bit. He's all been great the whole time. Yeah, no, he has, absolutely. <laughs> it's taken ten months to get all the way around to a live week. Yeah.
Life week. Yep. It's all right, look, at least we're going to finally find out who's done it. You looking forward to life? It's no different to being on stage. That's the only way you can really look no. at it. It's just the audience is slightly bigger, hopefully. Yeah. Well, the thing is as well, though, I mean, people are going to... You know, <laughs> look. Let's be honest. People are going to tune in, hoping we're yeah, going to mess it that's up. That's exactly it. Yeah. And one thing I know, honey, is if one of us goes wrong, the other one the will, other one will, will sort it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you now. I'm, I'm going to have little bits of script. I'm having like, under there, <laughs> under there. It'd be like the generation game. Right, I'll, I'll be lifting up cushions. Another script there. Another set of lines here. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten this! What's the remote? Can I pause it? I tried to hide behind the pole like that when <laughs> Forgot me book. Do you know I got a letter thing? Was that a leg double you had? You know, for no, the was you. Yeah, I know it was me. I might have a fat ass, but I've got good legs, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Jean's face was like Jean was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Picture. You know, I just remember seeing a photograph of her at Glastonbury. Yes, yeah, in her right. boots, her leather jacket, with a glass of red wine and a fag on, striding across the fields at Glastonbury. And I just thought, yes. I want to be June Brown when I grow up. <sighs> Daddy, what did you do at work today? Well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things we have to do here. It's just ridiculous. In a nice way, ridiculous. In a nice way, ridiculous. Well, what is it that somebody says? If you find something that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. I think that's quite true. Did you and Michelle know? No, we didn't. Ooh. There's always a story behind a classic scene. You get up me! What's the remote? Can I pause this? Join us looking back on our memorable moments. <laughs> oh, that's love. Put more on! Ma. EastEnders, back to ours. You can catch Jesse and me now on BBC iPlayer.